highly recommend is the chapala pulu soup. Mm. Sour, tangy fish. Beautiful. Welcome to the eastern coast of the most beautiful country in the world, India. This is the Bay of Bengal. And finally, we are on the beach. We have hit the coast. The little city of Ongol, now becoming a big city very fast, is a beautiful city indeed. This is where I first had Chapala Pulusu and Gongura Mamsam, the two powerhouse dishes of this region. We decided to stop here at a fisherman's colony so you could see the lovely boats that head out in the morning. There's just one request I have for all of you. We have a beautiful country. Please don't litter like this. It looks terrible when you throw trash all over the place. Enjoy the ocean, enjoy the beautiful beaches, and let's go find out what Ongol has in store for us. Technically, we're 20 kilometers away from Ongol at the Kotapatnam beach, which is this. All the people are there, all the action is there, and we are here! Ah! Ratna Mahal Theatre on the Trunk Road and we are at Spicy Feast. It's a very special restaurant, I'll tell you more about it once we go in. But Ongol itself, like I said, is a small town which is expanding and everywhere they have these statues, some with one finger up and the newer ones with their hands down by their sides. And remember, when you come to the town of Ongol, it's very famous for the Ongol cattle and the Ongol bull is something that you have to see. We've been trying to find one but in modern days it's hard to do. But food is what we specialize in and that we've got. The reason why I brought you here is because traditionally, of course, there was the Thali system. But now there's a very interesting thing happening all over Andhra Pradesh and Telangana becoming really popular. It's the buffet style restaurant. So when you walk in, you've got these beautiful buffets. I've got some veg biryani going. I'm going to take some noodles because I really like noodles. It's a little bit of a multi-cuisine situation here. We walk down, we've got paneer mutter masala. We've got mixed veg curry. I have got some chili chicken over here, which I must try. This is of course Chinese now. There's Indian, Chinese and food of this region. There's methi egg curry, mutton thala. Wow, look at that. Nice and hot mutton pieces. Beautifully done. I am going to enjoy that. And there's kadhai chicken over there. That is important for me to have some as well. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, and we've got some egg fried rice and ragi mudda. Lots to eat. But the snacks, the starters, the salads, soups, they'll all come to your table and be served fresh, piping hot from the kitchen. Good way to go, huh? All the snacks have been laid out. I've got my main courses over here. The one thing that you've got to have, and I highly recommend, I cannot recommend it highly enough, is the chapala pulusu. This amazing tamarind fish curry with spice that you'll only get here, and it is so good. Mmm. Sour, tangy fish. Beautiful. I can't tell you how good that is. A lot of fun. Let's try the mutton thala now. Mm. Wow. The local flavors are absolutely incredible. This huge punch of spice and flavor. Look at the variety I've got over here. I've got, of course, got papar. I've got an achari salad. I've got corn. I've got three types of sauces, including a Chinese sauce. Mm. I've got tandoori fruits here, which is very interesting. Pineapple, guava, watermelon. Little gulab jamuns that I'm going to tuck into, ragi, mudda and ghee. I've got a variety of vegetarian snacks. There's mushrooms, potatoes, potato salad, there's mm. fried corn over here, there's tandoori chicken, tandoori prawns, there's fish, there's coastal tandoori fish, of course the garlic fried chicken that we spoke about, achari salad here, mixed seafood salad and biryani. And lots of different mm. kinds of drinks. So there is never ending. There's also a separate fork for your tandoori starters with only two prongs in it. That is a double prong attack, as we like to call it. Everything is designed to be locally perfect for the palates over here. But even if you come from outside, you can tell that this food is really nice. The sheer variety is mind-boggling. And the way they bring the hot snacks to your table and the main courses are served separately is a treat in itself. So my advice, keep looking at what's happening in your country as the faces of restaurants and the styles change. And this is a beautiful change indeed, but some things will thankfully never change. Like the ragi mudda and ghee, or as you like to say in Punjab, kyo. Dig in and that flavor is legendary and immortal. Mm. Ah, don't go away, I almost forgot the desserts. Lots of varieties of pastries, brownies, there's carrot cake. 
there is delicious little gulab jamuns that I just love. Mm. And there is sevaiya to top it all. So for one fixed price, which is not too much, you get a huge choice of different things to try. And it's endless. What more can a simple boy like me ask for? Simple. Simple.